today I'm going to show you what I got in my May Olea box, kind of. Um, first of all, they've changed their packaging, which I think was a great idea. Now it's this really cute gold little pouch, and it used to just be like a plain cardboard box, and so now I think when you see this in your mailbox, you get a lot more excited. Um, but you'll notice that mine says Olea box exchange and normally right there it would say the month so I did get one for May and I really didn't like it I sent it back and did an exchange so once a year you can exchange your jewelry and if you don't know what Olea box is it's a monthly jewelry subscription and you can sign up for different price points and you'll get more jewelry based on how much you spend but I have the $25 box um, you can also choose your style, kind of, but they don't ask as many questions as wantables, for example. So with Olea Box, I think it only asked me, do you like gold or silver, or both, and I just said both, and do you like dainty or bold jewelry, or both, and I just said both, because I just wanted to see kind of all of what they had, but that wasn't a very good idea because they sent me a lot of dainty jewelry last time, and it was just not worth the $25, so it was just like a really thin gold chain that just had like a V at the bottom. I was like, all right. And then it was just like some stud gold earrings. And I do like to wear studs, but just for that like super simple necklace, some stud earrings and some silver bangles. Like for $25, I literally could drive for 20 minutes and go down to downtown LA and get that for like $5. So 25 was not worth it. So I think that what you should do for Olea Box is just say that you prefer like the bold jewelry rather than dainty because I think you're going to get more for your money. So they have updated their website. I also was having issues with their website because they revamped it and didn't save any of anyone's information. So you had no way to go in and like adjust your shipping address or, or the credit card information or your preferences or anything. So I had quite a few issues with Olea Box this month. They were, they were in transition and I just... I think last month was a bad month for them, but it seems like now they're kind of on their game. They changed their packaging, they changed their website, and I exchanged my jewelry and I like it a lot better. So anyway, without further ado, I'll show you what I got. And I just didn't even want to show last the last package I got because it was, it was just embarrassing. It was bad. <laughs> okay, so they still do this little card that tells you how to take care of your jewelry, which is boring. I don't know. They could probably do better with that. Um, and then this one is, they have not included before. It just says, welcome and thank you for subscribing to Olea Box. Okay. And they used to, actually, I have a, a bag right here. They used to send it in this bag, which was, you know, kind of more like natural canvassy. And now they have this kind of like wedding favor style bag that they use. So I actually do really like the box this month. So or the exchanged box that I got. Um, this is a bracelet and it's gold and it's pretty thick for just like a simple bracelet. It doesn't have a clasp, which I kind of like because I usually have trouble with the clasps. So I think that's pretty cute. I would wear it. Not worth $25, so I'm glad that everything else is really nice. Okay, these earrings I think are great. I've been wanting to get kind of fancy studs, like with the little detail on the back. So if you just look at them from the front, you know, it's just a little kind of fake diamond thing, which is cute. But then the backs, like this, have their own little decoration. So like hanging out um, behind your earlobe, now you're going to have these little pearls and these are gold. And so I think these are really cute because I wear a lot of gold. I wear a lot of like diamond blingy jewelry and a lot of pearls. So I think these will be like perfect for me. I think this fits my style really, really well. Definitely glad I did the exchange and I think their bold jewelry is just a lot better than their dainty stuff. And then the last thing I got is this necklace, which I also think is gorgeous. So it's a two strand necklace. This smaller one here is just like a gold chain. And then this one is so pretty. It has like mint beads and a little bit I don't know, dark mint, that's not really a color, but... Um, and then some light, really, really light pink, and let's see, these ones are just clear beads, and so I think this is so gorgeous. It's pretty long, as you can see, so I think this would be perfect for the summertime. It's pretty simple, but it would kind of dress up an outfit. I don't know about with 
these earrings. Uh, this might not really go. I don't know. You could make that work if you wanted to. And it's not too matchy-matchy. And then even with this um, gold bangle, I think this would be really nice. So I love the jewelry that I got in my exchange box. And my suggestion is just make sure you, you say you want the, the bold stuff. Because I think if you're into really dainty jewelry anyway, maybe a subscription jewelry service is not really for you. Like you could just get simple jewelry anywhere and kind of the point of a subscription box is that they pick out kind of new and different trendy stuff for you so and I got another necklace in the mail on the same day as I got my Olea box so I thought I would just show you this too um, it's from a website called group deals which is spelled weird it's like OOP and deals with a Z my friend Alex who's also a teacher she teaches kindergarten um, loves these like group deals websites where you can get stuff for really cheap so when she finds something really cute she'll like text me a picture of it she's like you have to get this necklace so she ordered it the other night and then I went ahead and ordered it too and it is really cute and it was like 12 bucks I think and yeah very bold very sparkly but like on the girl in the picture like on the model it wasn't that obnoxious like I might see this in the store and be like oh that is kind of kind of huge even for me but I don't know with the right outfit this could be really cute so yeah I've got like some weddings and graduations and stuff coming up so I think this would be really nice so I think this is so pretty and they have different items all the time on that website like literally daily the, the stuff changes like group deals doesn't actually make anything they just kind of collect deals I guess from other sites and then it shows up on their website so it's kind of hard to go back and find something that someone else had gotten but you can sign up for their email list and then they like send you the deals of the day or whatever so that that was new to me my friend had just told me about it and now I'm getting a little bit obsessed I found a couple of cute things on the website and then she sends me even more that I didn't even notice so yeah so that's my new jewelry I'm really excited to wear it I have one week of school left of the regular school year so I think I can kind of get all those things in next week it's a pretty easy fun week you know there's um, eighth grade promotion on one day and a lot of field trips. I'm not going on any of them, but um, just a lot of last day, last week type of stuff. I've been putting the students to work cleaning up my room. They love, you know, taking staples out of the wall with a little staple remover. I used to love doing that too. I don't know why. I hate doing it now because it's so time consuming, but all my staples are gone. My walls are staple free. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed just getting to see a couple of different options for getting some new jewelry and just livening up your style. What's your favorite way to get jewelry? Do you like doing the subscription box thing or do you like just going to the store and shopping for it or online? There's so many different ways now. So anyway, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.